Hey guys, how's it going? This is George from Techno.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 on your external hard drive. So, let's have a look. Whether you're looking to test Windows 11 or update your current system to Windows 11, then installing it on an external hard drive first is always a great idea. Because what if you update it on your computer and in the end you don't like it, the downgrade process is always very tedious. So in this video we're going to show you how to install Windows 11 on your external hard drive without having to worry about the requirements. For this purpose of this video, you'll need to have an external hard drive. I highly encourage you to have an SSD. I'm going to put a link down in the description in case you're looking to purchase the same external SSD as I'm holding right now. This is an internal SSD, but I'm also going to include one of these which converts a SATA into a USB Type-C connection or SATA to USB 3.0, 3.1. I have all the links down in the description. And when you connect it, it's going to actually turn it into an external hard drive. And in my case, it's SATA to USB Type-C. But because my computer doesn't have a USB Type-C port, I have one of these USB-C to USB 3.0, which converts it into a USB. Um, not the best idea to have so many cables connected, but it's the only way for me to get this SSD to work on my PC. Now, speaking of the requirements, you don't really need to worry about the requirements because this method is going to actually bypass them. So let's go ahead and quickly check the Windows 11 requirements. So this is the first page that we need to look at and the link, as always, is down in the description. So scroll down a little bit. I'm just going to enlarge it so you guys can see easier. Starting from the beginning, so we have the processor 1 GHz or better. 4 GB of RAM. Now, very important to have 64 GB or larger storage device. Now, almost any SSD that you're going to purchase nowadays, they're going to come with much larger than 64 GB. Uh, system firmware, UFI secure boot capable. TPM, probably the most controversial uh, specification. Trusted platform module, version 2.0. Uh, graphics card, you don't really have to worry about this. Display, you don't have to worry about this. And interconnection. Of course, you don't have to worry about this because 99.9% .9 chances you're going to have all of this. And you're probably going to wonder whether my computer meets the official requirements for Windows 11. And that's very easy to check. And to do that, you're going to have to go on to this link right here and just click on where it says download PC health check app. Uh, install it. And once you do that, uh, it might either appear on your desktop or you may need to type it here. Press enter to launch it. And PC Health Check is going to do a general check to see whether your system is good. But also, it's going to let you know whether you can run Windows 11 officially on your machine. So click on check now. Bad luck for me, I don't officially meet the Windows 11 system requirements because I don't have the TPN put 2.0 and my processor unfortunately is not included on the supported list. And in case you're curious of what processors Windows 11 is supporting, then go back on Google and then go on this page right here. You can find the link again down in the description. So you're gonna have to scroll all the way down and here where it says supported AMD processors, supported Intel processors and supported Qualcomm processors. I'm gonna click on here because my processor is 1300X Ryzen 3. So just gonna scroll down and see if I is there. And of course, unfortunately, is not there yet. Now, this is not really a big of concern because this method is gonna bypass the requirements and let you install Windows 11 on your external hard drive and run it on your computer. And here you can also click on see all results in order to see the rest of your MET requirements. Finally, in case you want to see in details your PC requirements, then I suggest you to download a program called Specky or Spetsy, I don't know how to pronounce it, which shows everything in details. So you have in summary, you have your OS, you have CPU. So if I click on CPU, it's going to show every single detail about my CPU. So now we spoke of the requirements, let's create a Windows 11 bootable device, which one I use to install Windows 11 on external hard drive. To do this, go back to your favorite browser and then go to this page right here. This is the official page of Microsoft where you can download the Windows 11 ISO, which we need to create the bootable device. So scroll all the way down where it says download Windows 11 
disk image, ISO. Select download, Windows 11, click on download. Select your favorite language. I'm gonna select English International, confirm, and then click on where it says 64-bit download. Now, in my case, I have already downloaded the Windows 11 ISO. So, because it's about 5.2 gigabytes of size, it may take some time to download for you. Just gonna click on cancel because I already have it. Next up, we need the tool which is gonna allow us to burn Windows 11 ISO on our external hard drive. And for this, we're gonna use Rufus. And Rufus is the best tool for this purpose. So we're gonna scroll all the way down to the download section. I'm gonna choose Rufus Portable because it's probably the most stable. So click on download. And once you download it, then close browser because you're no longer gonna need it. I'm gonna close PC Health Check. And you don't need to install Rufus, just download and launch the .exe file. And there you go. And one thing I want to mention is that it's a very good advice to go ahead and disconnect any USBs, SD cards, or any other hard drives that are connected to your computer in order to avoid making any mistakes. So go on File Explorer and simply disconnect any other external storage devices that you have connected to your computer. And to do that, make sure to inject them first by right-clicking on them. And once you've done that, then go and connect your external hard drive to which you want to install Windows 11 to it. In my case, it's George's SSD and it has the letter D. So let's go back on Rufus and do it. On device, just click on this box. And if you don't have any options, then go on where it says show advanced drive properties and make sure that the box list USB hard drives is checked. And now it's going to show you the only external hard drive which is connected to your computer. On boot selection, go and click on select and choose the Windows 11 ISO file that you have just downloaded. Press open and on image option, click on it and make sure it's set to Windows to go. And this tells your computer that this external hard drive is going to run Windows 11 to it. So it's going to be a bootable hard drive with Windows 11. On under partition scheme, make sure it's set as GPT. But if you have an older machine, an old computer, make sure to set it as MBR. And the target system is going to automatically be changed to BIOS or UFI. But in my case, we're going to leave it as GPT and target system as UFI non-CSM, which is the only option. Just going to hide this. And under format options, I'm just going to change this to Windows 11 because it gives me headaches. Leave file system as it is, same as the cluster size, don't change anything on that. And once you're ready, click on start. And if you have purchased an official Windows 11 copy, which includes your product key, make sure to choose the appropriate Windows version that you have purchased. So if you have purchased Windows 11 Pro, then make sure to choose Windows 11 Pro. This is very critical because if you have the product key, then it's not going to work if you choose a different version. And in my case, because I don't have a product key, I'm just going to go with Windows 11 Home. That's done. That. Press on OK. And Rufus is going to warn you that all of the data from your external hard drive is going to be destroyed. And that's absolutely true. This method is going to destroy all of the data from your external hard drive because it needs to be formatted in order for Windows 11 to be installed on your external hard drive. So if you have any data on your external hard drive, just go ahead and move them somewhere else, move them to your computer, move them to another USB stick, just to put them in a safe location. So once you've done that and you're ready, then go ahead and click on OK. And this process is going to take some time to finish. It may take a few minutes. Just let Rufus do his job and I'll be back as soon as this is done. All right, so our external storage device is finally ready and we're ready to go ahead and boot our system through our external hard drive. To do this, we're going to click on the restore button and when your screen turns black, keep pressing on the F11 key on your keyboard in order to enter the boot menu. Make sure to not disconnect your external hard drive so the boot menu will be able to see your external hard drive, which we're going to choose in order to boot our system with it. So let's go ahead and do this. So here just close everything and just go on the start button and press on restart and restart. 
and as soon as the screen is turned black then just keep pressing on the F11 key on your keyboard in order to open the boot menu. There we go. And here we have all the external hard drives which are connected to my computer. This includes also internal and external ones. This is the Windows 11 that we have installed. And this is the internal hard drive where Windows 10 is run. But we want to put our computer with Windows 11. So we're gonna choose this option right here. Use the arrow keys to move up and down and press enter. And now it's gonna boot again, but this time on the Windows 11 boot installer media. There we go, Windows 11 logo appears and this is the installation screen. So you can use the mouse in order to do everything. So, so I'm just gonna go and breeze through all the settings. So I'm gonna press United Kingdom. Layout, keyboard layout, United Kingdom. I'm gonna skip for now. Accept with the terms. I'm gonna skip this for now. And to continue, you're gonna need to enter your Microsoft account. If you don't have one, then just press in here in order to create one. Okay, now next up, you need to create a pin. Now, be sure to not create a very common pin such as 1234 or 9876. Just create a pin which has random numbers which you're going to remember. So, in my case, you're going to type 1873 and same thing on confirm pin 1873. There we go. Okay. Okay, now because I've created another desktop with Windows 11. I am actually not going to restore from the previous one. I'm just going to set it as a new device so you guys can also see the remaining of this process. Okay, I'm going to choose yes for this. Find my device, I'm going to choose yes. Send the nursing data required only. Prove no, that's fine. No, that's fine. Emphasize an ID, no, that's fine. Customer experience, I'm gonna go with business, but this really depends on for what reason you're gonna use Windows 11. If you're planning for gaming, then I'm gonna go ahead with gaming. And during the installation, it's gonna do some flickering, you know, some you're gonna see occasionally some black screens and stuff like that. And this is because it's automatically installing the drivers on your external hard drive. So that's not a concern. It's going to install the drivers, the screen, you know, everything else, the sound. So no need to worry about it. Just give it some time in order to finish with this kind of stuff. Okay, going to click on next. Uh, no thanks. Okay, a couple of few more steps before we get to use uh, Windows 11. And boom, there we go. And there we go. You have successfully installed Windows 11 on your external hard drive. So let's go ahead and check the specifications. So let's go on the settings. Let's go settings, go to system and scroll over down where it says about. And as you can see, we have the same specifications. So I haven't changed anything. So same processor, AMD Ryzen 3. And yeah, as you can see, we have Windows 11 installed with our unsupported specifications. And I'm gonna also go on this PC. So we'll go to File Explorer, this PC, and you will see here Windows 11. Uh, local disk, this is uh, where Windows 10 is run, and this is not the one that we are using. This is the one that we're using. So that's why there's nothing on the desktop. And this USB icon indicates that this is an external hard drive. We're running Windows 11 through our external hard drive. And I'm gonna tell you guys that this is extremely slow. And the reason being is because I don't have a USB Type-C port, but only USB 3.0 ports. And that's the only reason why uh, Windows 11 is running a bit slow on my computer. But if you have connected your external hard drive with the computer with a Type-C port, then Windows 11 is gonna run pretty fast. And one final thing I want to say is that if you don't meet the official Windows 11 requirements, 
then you won't be able to receive any security updates from Microsoft. But who knows, maybe in the future Microsoft will change or ease the requirements so it can support more processors and even computers which do not have the TPM 2.0 module. And that was the end of this video guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to let me know down in the comment section why you decide to install Windows 11 on your external hard drive. Did you try to play your latest games? Or perhaps, are you using it for testing purposes? Let me know down in the comment section. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button in order to show support to this channel. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. And finally, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it in order to be the first person to watch our latest videos and updates. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'm going to see you in my next video.